we all know why we're here today to celebrate the groundbreaking for our new Trenton expansion here. Uh, I've been charged with making a few uh, quick comments. First, I'd like to thank the Mayor of Overland, Michael Snyder, for coming. Charlie Dooley, the newly elected or re elected county executive. Uh, Sheila Sweeney uh, is in here. So oh, right here. I'm sorry. Uh, she's the chair of the St. Louis Economic uh, Development Council. Okay. Uh, so we got some uh, pretty important people here. I feel humbled. Uh, and in the audience, we have a lot of our board members. We have uh, St. Louis Society for the Blind represented here, and Davidson, Dr. Davidson, I'm sorry. Uh, we've got somebody from the Mind's Eye here. we got people from all of the uh, consumer groups here, and I'm just thrilled to death everybody could come. We didn't pay anybody to come, so this is pretty cool. Uh, first thing I wanted to say was that, you know, the, the great thing about this expansion is what this really represents is you know, the kind of the next step in an evolutionary process of the growth of the lighthouse. Uh, I think it's a concrete sign of the future opportunities for people who are blind. I mean, this just isn't a manufacturing facility. This really represents future opportunities and job security for people that are blind. Uh, as we all know, the unemployment rate in this country is about 10%. I think we all saw the dissatisfaction at the polls a couple weeks ago with that number. But you know what kind of gets lost in that number is a more important number to us in this business, and that's the unemployment rate in the blindness community is 75%. And and you know what else is you know just disturbing about that is that that's not a number that has been driven by the poor economy. The 10% is high because of the economy. 75% has been that way for decades and decades. So, you know, this type of an expansion and improvement to our facility, we hope will continue to drive that number down, number one, uh, give the employees, and we have all of our Trenton employees here today, uh, you know, hopefully that's going to drive security for them for their continued future employment. And, you know, maybe we can make the 75%, 74, 73, 72, do our little part in driving down unemployment for people that are blind. So I think that's just incredibly important. Uh, the other thing I like to mention is that the funding for this expansion, which is about $2 million, as well as the funding for our expansion we completed last year at, at Berkeley, another $2 million, uh, all of that funding is coming from the hard work of our blind employees, the surpluses we earn by making products uh, for the, primarily for the federal government, but making products at a profit. Uh, quality products on time at competitive rates uh, and, and the result is we can grow our own business. We don't have to be dependent on the government, we're not dependent on uh, grants, we're not dependent on uh, any type of uh, you know, grants from the government or assistance from the government. Uh, this is internal growth uh, and it comes at the result of our hard working employees that are here and again I would like to applaud all of our employees. This is absolutely a direct result of what we do as an organization, as a company. Uh, I wish that our Berkeley employees could have been here because they are equally important and should share in this, in this uh, event. Uh, the last thing I'd like to say is that, you know, normally I get my, and it's going to sound kind of corny, and just bear with me, all right? I don't want anybody going to tears or anything. Uh, but, you know, normally I get my inspiration from sitting at my desk, looking at our employees coming you know, leave from work. Uh, I'm not real inspired when they're out there smoking at breaks, but we're going to fix that. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the fact that I get to come to work every day, I, and I get paid to come to work. Uh, I'm one of those guys like Albert Pujols who gets paid to play baseball. I get paid to come uh, and see people gainfully employed, all getting paid a competitive salary, you know, full benefits, uh, hopefully going to retire here, you know, make their living here. Uh, and I normally got my inspiration from looking at my own employees. I also get inspiration by looking at people, the kids at Delta Gamma, one of the organizations that we support. Uh, you know, there's a lot to be inspired at when you look at both our employees and kids that are growing up trying to make, you know, better lives for themselves. But, you know, this is just kind of ironic, and I'm kind of a believer in faith sometimes. Uh, we helped sponsor a regional goalball tournament just last Saturday at the School for the Blind. 
And just yesterday, I got a flurry of thank yous for the t-shirts we provided. I'd like to read the, the signature part of one that came from a young uh, lady named Brianna from the Illinois School for the Blind. Life is full of beauty. Notice it. Notice the bumblebee, the small child, and the smiling face. Smell the rain, feel the wind, live your life to the fullest potential, and fight for your dreams. You know, when I read that, you know, what I thought, I mean, this is what we're doing right now today. I mean, we're fighting for the dreams of individuals that are blind to give them the opportunity to work, to be employed, to just be part of the workaday world that we all, you know, sighted people tend to take for granted. We bitch and moan about our, you know, our bosses and our work. You know, it just, just goes with the territory. But I think, uh, as most of our blind employees will probably attest to, uh, the idea of not having a job for many, many years and three quarters of our blind population not being employed is a, is a pretty awful number. So uh, what this really ultimately represents, I think, is the opportunity for us to fight for the dreams of blind individuals that simply want to work. Not, nothing more than that. So uh, I will now turn it over to Mike Snyder, who's going to say a word, the Mayor of Overland. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it is my pleasure and honor for me to be here with you today. When uh, the first of uh, these plans first came across my desk as I sit on planning and zoning, I was extremely excited about this. As, more, as much as I would be if we would have opened up, you know, a big box store. And it's all because of what this, this facility gives back to all of us. It provides a place for the people, the blind people to work, and the money they make goes out into the community. I can't see anything that's more full circle than a facility like this, and you will always have my support and all the efforts that I can put forth if you want to take in and make this even bigger after this expansion, come see me. <laughs> so I thank you very much, and once again, it's my honor and my pleasure to serve you. I work for you. You don't work for me. Thank you. He said good morning to y'all. I'm extremely happy to be here. Let me say a couple things. Come here, John. Get over here. I'm just staying right here. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you why I say this. I have this unique thing about talking to people during the process. And one of the things I learned this morning was, you know, say, Charlie, five years ago, we thought we had to close our doors. Five years ago, we had to close our doors. But five years ago, we got this man right here turn this organization around. My friends, it is about leadership that really makes a difference in our community. It's the board members, the board members here and the president that stood, stood by his side and said we can make a difference, provide jobs and opportunity for every person in our community. So I want to say on my behalf, thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh, there's a lot of good things going on, but I want to give kudos to the individuals that do make a difference in our community. And John, you have made a difference in our community. Now, therefore, I, Charlie A. Dooley, County Executive of St. Louis County, Missouri, do hereby proclaim November the 16th, Lighthouse for the Blind Day in St. Louis County, Missouri. Congratulations. <laughs> Jobs and new support for the blind of the St. Louis area today.